Hey everyone, I think it's been a couple of weeks since we talked. Um, first off, I want to thank everybody who participated in my Three Good Things Challenge. I'm going to try to link to everyone who made a video um, below. I know a bunch of people participated on Facebook too. Um, I was successful in my challenge in which like, I, I successfully recorded all seven days in a row. Um, but beyond that, like my, my ultimate goal um, was also successful, and it was just to make that a habit again, um, to get back into the habit of, of recording three good things every night, um, and I have been doing that. It's been really helpful um, seeing all of yours, and it's been really helpful having that practice back in my life, um, especially considering the life events um, that have been happening recently. Um, just to update from, again, my, from my last video, um, my mother-in-law did pass away um, just over a week ago. Um, you know, she she battled cancer for um, about 19 months, so we sort of knew, you know, we sort of knew what was coming. Um, but at least for myself, I was still really shocked. Um, the the very final, you know, the very end sort of end stage um, happened very very fast. Um, Mike was able to be there. Um, like with his siblings when she died, um, which is really a blessing. Um, it's a blessing that she, you know, she didn't suffer. Um, she didn't suffer the sort of pain that she was having in the end and stuff. And, um, you know, she was sort of spared that. So um, there's definitely things to be thankful for. Um, it's been a really hard <laughs> couple of weeks, of course. Um, Mike, like I said, Mike was away again. Um, I had sort of always envisioned us being together um, through this. That's not the way it worked out, just logistically with the kids and stuff. Um, he ended up um, being there and we were here. Uh, you know, he's been back for a few days now, um, but I, I don't know, it's just, um, it's just hard. It's one of the hardest things you deal with in life, right? Um, there's, we're, we're all going to go um, to her memorial service. She didn't want like a funeral per se, um, but they're doing a memorial service um, in a couple of weeks in LA. So I'll be for that. I'll be there for that. Um, sort of, you know, the whole extended family together. And I think after that, we'll have. Um, I think I'll feel a little bit more closure, um, and it'll just be really good just to be all together. Um, so anyway, um, I wish I could say like I. Well, I don't know. I. I guess that's all, that's all I'll say right now. My mother-in-law's memory inspires me to be a better mother, um, a better partner, and that's really what I'm focused on right now. Um, just keeping the stress level in our house as low as I can and just being there for my kids um, and being there like as a partner um, for Mike. You know, this is just, it's just a really, really hard thing and it's harder on him um, than anybody. And so I'm just trying to like, just keep things running, just flowing, and you know, cooking some favorite meals doesn't hurt. When she died, I did share the news on um, my Facebook, and I thank you all for the beautiful sympathy messages um, that people left. Um, also to Angela, um, who sent a chocolate care package that just totally hit the nail on the head, um, especially for Mike. Mike is Mike's a, a chocolate guy, um, so that was just, just such a beautiful gesture um, and really perfect. It's really helped keep us going. Other than that, um, I really haven't been on any social media um, except for like Pinterest in the middle of the night when I'm nursing. I just stare mindlessly at something. Um, but I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to be back to making real videos. Not for the foreseeable future. It just doesn't 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 feel right. I know some people can just do it all, um, but I can't. So that's that's where we are, um, just working through this grieving process, among other things. Um, sort of when these when this sort of um, starts to settle down, our next thing is just going to be continuing to work on our exit strategy and, and planning our move. Um, Mike has a, has gotten a couple of interviews for federal jobs he has applied to in the place we are hoping to move. Um, so fingers crossed something something good happens there and we can just go full force into um, like making I don't know making a big change just kind of starting over everybody out there on trying to conceive journeys um, or people with new babies or people just um, you know all the trials and tribulations and joys of family life I guess I'm not able to keep up with you right now and I probably won't be for a little bit but at least know that I'm thinking of you um, all of my friends out there 
and um, I don't know, we just do what we can, right? So hopefully um, the next time you see me, um, I don't know, I'll have, I'll have some new perspectives and, um, you know, a little bit more peace and, and just be moving forward. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, thanks for kind of sticking with me through this, and I'll talk to you soon.